And uh, what we're doing, you know, we have the right to a peaceful assembly. But we're urging everybody to come down there skunk drunk and mad as hell. <laughs> well, I hate, I hate, I hate to, I hate to bust your bubble on that, uh, on that meeting for y'all Monday night, but uh, it was turned over to the uh, uh, animal uh, committee, and uh, they're not going to have one Monday night. Not going to have what? Uh, uh, a meeting Monday night on that. We're going to be down there. Ain't I know that you used to be down, but they turned it over to the animal committee. Yeah, animal got control. Animal well, they're the ones that caused yeah. all the problems animal to start children. with. So that's, uh, so he won't done. even, what I'm saying to you, he, he won't even be on the, the agenda. Well, on the agenda. No, he won't be on the agenda Monday. Well, did they because they turned it over to the animal well, did, committee. Did, did, it's did, out of our, it's out of yes, our hands. They pull a parliamentary procedure. How many votes you got to have to get it on the agenda? Well, it's it's, on, they, it's, it's, it's they, the own committee. Did it take a two-thirds vote to get it on the no, agenda? No, it's, it's, a, it's a separate committee. You mean we can't even present our petition down there Monday night? No, you got to take it before the animal committee. We're not gonna take it. We're Committee. gonna take it straight to the ones we're gonna unelect next time. There, that's well. Hey, that's your option. Mm -hmm. But they won't let us. No, you won't get to do anything Monday night. We won't get to do anything. Nothing. You got to go before the animal we have not control heard, committee. We have not heard that from uh, the county mayor yet. You know, we yeah. requested that we be put on the agenda uh, two months ago. Yeah, but see, they, more they, they, they've got a little right. trick down there that keeps things from get, being put on the agenda, see, uh, such as uh, the uh, finance director and that sort of thing. People who keep all that from getting put on the agenda. See, it's a parliamentary uh, maneuver that was learned in Washington, D.C., and I'm not going to call any names. Uh, as to who has learned those parliamentary procedures. Well, see, we're not asking for a vote on uh, Monday night. We're just asking to present our petition. We can't even do that. It's got to go before the Animal Control Committee. <coughs> uh, it's a separate committee than, than us. No, in other no. words, if we show up down there, uh, our elected officials won't hear us. Is that I'd like to hear you. I don't have a no problem with that, but if, if, if it's, what you all got is its own committee, and that's they're the ones that hear that. I'm not on that committee. Well, that committee is not the one that voted in. It was the county commission that voted in. I realize that. They turned in what you got. Who turned it over? Well, you were there when they did it. I mean, no, you were there when they said they need to turn it over. You know, you heard the commissioner say that we need to take it before the animal control committee. You were there when they said that. I heard it. I heard Adrian there trying to correct Whit Goins. And it says very plainly, it's got his name on it and everything, the Animal Control uh, Ordinance of 2005. And he's trying to say it goes back to 2001. When 2001, you had the leash law. In 2005, Adrian comes up with this wild-ass idea that you're going to uh, register all the dogs and take people's rights away from them to own the dogs. Well, I'm not on that committee. And y'all have to come before that committee what, to what be happens, heard. What happens if we and and some uh, yeah, voting people happen to show up down there Monday? We just we won't be allowed to say no. Anything? You won't be because it's it goes before that that committee. Oh, okay. I well, guess we just don't understand. Just a parliamentary <coughs> procedure. Let's see here. Uh, well, David. Bob and Ronnie, how you guys do it tonight? Pretty Great. good. And uh, I think, if I'm not badly mistaken that you can go to the county commissioner in your district and ask them to let, to let you speak. We've already done we that. We've done that, ma'am. We gave them an opportunity last night. I, I was, I was oh, happy to oh. hear them. Now, wait a minute. You were not being good to us by giving us the opportunity to speak. All right, so and that they, was not the county that was a workshop. We spoke, yeah, that was, yeah, that was we workshop. spoke on... Uh, now, I, if I'm not mistaken, you can ask the county commission meeting, you get in touch with your county commissioner, and I think that he can bring that up. How about it, Scott? Can he? It's, it's already been brought up. It was brought up last night. No, 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 the county commission. We've never presented anything to the county commission. Well, you all brought that before the workshop, and that's very right, right. right. So we could bring it up before. Before, the okay, ma'am. Before it can be brought up, say like on a regular meeting, 
it's got to be come, uh, brought up uh, like on a workshop. So it was brought up last night before the workshop, and they hit down. It's turned over to the animal control committee, and Another it's way. out of our hands right now. In other words, it's out. It's the whoever. Building. It's whoever's on that committee. It's who you got to answer to. And whoever that's. Uh, whoever's in charge of that committee. So you got to. Whoever. Answer to. Whoever shows we, we, we didn't vote for that committee. We voted for the county commissioners. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I know what these people. They make. They make. Uh, they. They appoint. They. Uh, let me explain to you. They appoint uh, one commissioner in each district, which would be five people uh, to. Uh, uh, well, be four, but they get put five on there. It's including the county mayor. Uh, that's the way I think it goes. Okay. And what happens is, is uh, that you got a committee, an animal control committee. And that's who will be representing this here for the people. Okay, those those uh, that animal co control committee can they rescind the animal control ordinance of 2005? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that information. I don't know. If they can't do it, they can't it takes the county commissioners to rescind it. Well, that's who we want to talk to. No, we want to do is talk to them. But it's got to go. Well, just like you said last night, I agree with you. No rickety. It's got to go before the Animal Control Committee before you can do anything. Well, I can't pull Robert's rules of order over well, there. Well, where not, does this animal I'm not on that committee. I don't even know who's on that committee. No, sure you know. You know no, I know. Of, you know a few of them's on well, that. Yeah, uh, probably two yeah. of them, I do. Well, you probably know a couple when of them. When do they meet? Well. I don't know. I don't they don't. They only think they met this time. Oh, well, well, what do you do about those that wasn't on it uh, before the election? Have they appointed any new ones? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Well, you don't know much about it, do you? Uh, well, no, because they ain't had a meeting yet, Ronnie. How do you, how do you know well, need to know something about well, it? Let, let you ask you something. Something. I well, let let ask you something. Did, did you talk to the, the mayor about this situation uh, tomorrow night, about bringing it up? You mean Monday night? Monday night. Oh, it, it was told no, last yeah. night. That's like my sister. She's 88 years old, and she's about like this. They always talk about, they told me this. And when you start talking about, they told you this, that, and the other Well, one, you heard it just as well as I did I last didn't night. hear a thing there. Well, you're getting all out of black here over something that I ain't got no control of. I only came here for one thing, to let the people know something that uh, that's not well, in our we control. We want to know where you learned it from. Just the same place you learned no, it last I didn't, night. Not, this is the first time I've heard that. Yeah, well, he told you that he will he not be not. brought up. Mr. Baird told you that he will not be Mr. brought Baird. up. Commissioner Baird, you heard him say it last night. It's going. It's got to go before uh, the. Yeah. <laughs> Commissioner uh, Baird. I, I don't Ronnie, believe he was chairing the meeting. I'm pretty you know? sure that you can, yeah. Ronnie, go to. The county commissioner. Well, I mean, I'm all for that, but if and apparently has, we're cut out, we're not representing. No, no, no. This is, this is called disinformation. You know, during time of war, mm -hmm. people will put out information that is not correct in order to, uh, just like they thought they were going to invade in Italy and they come in through Normandy. Well, this is information put out. When you start saying they, and you said Mr. Barrett, and he was not chairing the county commissioner's meeting, Last night, so it, it was a workshop. It wasn't a meeting. Well, That's right. That's chair. what we want to go workshop. for: is the county yeah. commission. He, we he want to go not to chair workshop. That workshop. You got to bring it before the workshop before you can get it on the agenda. Is what I'm telling you. Well, why is it on the agenda? Well, because they, if you all had your ears open last night, you would have heard it. They said they're going to turn it over to the animal control committee. Did you not hear that? No, we're just too dumb. What well, right? kind That's too dumb. Okay. okay. Uh, so, I'm not. I'm not smart enough. I believe that you can ask. The county commissioner in your district, and I believe he can let you be heard. Yeah, I will. Uh, even we, 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 we gave him a chance to do that last night, man. That's you don't understand. No well, you, you come down there and no, you have not, your you, case. You have not given us anything. Well, you're, you're going over You have here. nothing to give us. We <laughs> give to you. We elect you and yeah. we pay your salary. You have nothing to give us. Did you not talk last you night? Have not, did I, you not talk I'm last night? I tonight, too, but you didn't give me permission to talk tonight. And you did not give me permission to talk the other night. They, which they... You heard, heard them last night. You were there. Did you well, not hear them? last night, in the first place. It was night before last. And I did hear them. 
but I didn't hear them say that we couldn't come down there on Monday night and hand them our petition. And besides, I don't know that, that they can deny us the privilege of attending a meeting. That's no, right. It's, it's public. Okay. I don't make like sure. That's public, yeah. You but you can Anybody I, can attend the okay, meeting. That's good. Well, I, I, really, figured, I, really, I figured maybe they'd lock us out. No, out I, I really encourage everybody to start attending the I would encourage the people to be down there Monday night. What I'm saying, Ron, ma'am, this, this, uh, again, it was on our, for Tuesday night. Uh, they came down our Tuesday night and spoke. Well, we're, we're not we're on right any of them. No, you we're came right. down and spoke. Yeah, on we the spoke. Yeah, we we the no, you, you, you too. would come down there and you wanted to be on the agenda for next Monday night. This yes, coming Monday night. Right. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. So, so you all were declined to be on oh, there we're because, not allowed to. Okay. because, no, they sent it to the Animal okay. Control Committee. You know, they've got to hear you. You've got to call and set up an appointment with them. We've got to set up an appointment. Yeah, we have to set up an appointment with the Animal Control Committee, which is Adrian Barrett, chairman. Right. So don't tell them where it feels me. I'm just telling you what you have to do. Yeah, but I appreciate it. You need somebody tell them how to do it. Stay down at the courthouse Monday night. Everybody. Folks, we everybody, folks, everybody that. said you can't go down there, and I dare you to go down there Monday night. Yeah, you don't have, we may not get to present our petition, but at least we'll get to see who's down there. Yep, that's the truth, because let me tell you something. I've got a 74-year-old mother that's got a dog, and I've never heard a harsh word out of her mouth. But when she found out that she was going to have to pay to keep her dog, she loaded her gun, so... Angry Bears or whoever, better watch out. They better not go knocking on her door. Well, Time to take her dog. If they put it before the Animal Control Committee, then they'll be able to be heard. That's that's a committee where they hear just stuff you know like this. You know what that is? It's a run it's around. Just stuff it's, like this. It's a run around. Well, we got all kinds of committees. This isn't, yeah. this isn't just stuff like this. We have a beer this board. Is, this we, is where this is we not did not, kind of lead the beer we board did not ever give to the county commissioners the authority to take the right to own a dog away from us. We did not give them that authority. But yet that's what they've done. They have passed an ordinance which makes you have to ask permission to own a dog, to own a cat. Yeah, but I encourage everybody that they... You still uh, with us? Yeah, yeah, I, still with I encourage you. everybody... I want to take to... another call, okay? Everybody be there because I believe you can be heard. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there. You know, Mike, Mike Freeman uh, told us he's going to have us arrested down there, but Mike ain't there no more. Well, Bob and Ronnie. Yes, I want to know uh, who was the one to uh, depart Tip Jones and then I'm going to hang up. Okay, I, I can answer that question for you. Thank you for your call. I just want to... Uh, the, the people to know the reason I came down here tonight I had about eight or nine calls today and still getting them that the county commission is responsible for doing all these firings here lately the pe the person that is is solely that's responsible for firing all these people is your new county mayor that the oppositions of the commission have appointed it ain't got nothing to do with with the commissioners that's uh, the representing the people. I'm talking about the people that. Uh, who are the opposition to the commission? Well, really? you need to go down at the courthouse and get your uh, report. Uh, who voted? Uh, no, wait a minute. You're talking about him. the opposition to the commission, or are you yeah. talking about the people that disagree with your position? Well, you know, I'm just telling you. you yeah. See, you got two different things going here. No, I'm not. I want okay, the anyway, opposition of the, the, of the commission. I just is. want the people to know that it's it's the responsibility of the county mayor. And whoever has elected him, uh, uh, that uh, voted him in as your county mayor at this time. In other words, the, eight, eight, the eight people who voted the county can, mayor in can, is responsible, and I agree no, with that. Yeah. I agree with that. They are responsible for him doing what they wanted him to do to start with. Is the county, can the county mayor put something on the agenda? Uh, he can if... Boy, I wish we could get this dog thing on the agenda, yeah, sure jury. Anybody know the jury? I'd like to call the jury and get this on the agenda. Well, anyway, I just, like, I just like the people to know that it's... It was not the, the county commissioners. No, they don't do nothing. Responsibility to committees and then they'll do to uh, well, Bob, hire Ronnie. and fire. That, right. That's the yeah, reason. I just want to start talking now. He keeps saying they. Who's they? Who does 
that's why, that's why well, I, I told Ron here if he washed his ears out at the uh, meeting the other night, then he would have heard. Uh, my ears are Bob. He would have heard uh, who uh, told him to send it to the uh, Animal Control Committee. Uh, they they told him. Adrian Baird recommended it, and then the rest of them didn't want him to take any action on it. Well, we didn't They've got an Animal Control Committee, we, sir. Yeah, they, they're the ones that's put us in this mess we're in. The Animal Control Committee, the county commission had to do it, right? Yeah, but see, I've been elected here, and I don't, I don't know who even... How did you do it? Pardon me? How did you do it? On what? I didn't. And I ain't, they ain't even had a, a committee yet on it. They they just said they recommended it going to the Animal Control Committee. What? Well, Adrian Bear recommended it. Oh, the rest Adrian Bear. Uh, Welcome, Mister. Did you hear? You had your ears must have plugged up, Bob. Yeah, I guess it's plugged up. What it is? It's pretty old. I can't hear him because of these guys talking here. He said it right in front of uh, Ronnie and the, and the whole people that was in the courthouse that he recommended it being turned over to the Animal Control Committee. And that's about all it was. I understand that, but when you make some recommendation, the county commission has to vote to approve it or disapprove it. So how do you do didn't vote on that. We didn't vote on it because it was a workshop. <laughs> See? Okay. This, 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 this is, uh, you know, we don't mind... We don't mind giving an audience here to Scott, like Scott, but Scott has come up here with information that has been uh, inseminated into him by people no, that no. he trusts. No, no, I don't. No, I'm just telling you. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. In front of the whole uh, right. workshop, what they no, said. No. That's well, what. Let me ask you a question. Now, how can the workshop turn this over to a committee with no vote? And you say, well, it was a workshop. They didn't vote. Would we not present this? To the uh, county then commission, they well, then, they can, then they can vote to turn it over. Yeah, you can work. come down Monday night. Like I told everybody, should come down. But Monday you night. won't let us do it. I don't. It ain't my position well, they, not okay. to do it. Well, Seems to me like our representation is not representing us very effectively. I tell you exactly what's happening, Ronnie. You know what's happening. Yeah, I know. This is a way to get this thing. They knew everybody was coming down there, so this is a way to throw it over to another committee to yep. where they can't come before the county commission. That's it. Right. And I'm not on that committee. I, I, I wish I was, but, but I'm not got, on it. We've got eight of them on that. How would you vote if you were on that committee? I have no comment about that. Who voted to send the two committees? What I want to know. Nobody. They didn't vote. They, they recommended it, sir, to be put. No, that was Adrian Baird that recommended it. One person recommended that it go to the committee. The committee who, which he heads, of course, that gives us no representation whatsoever. There was no vote. And it won't be voted on in committee. They don't even know where the committee's at, who's on the committee, when it meets, or if it's ever met. Is that right? right? And, uh, we'll, we'll have to have My ears right. are stopped we'll up, but I still right ain't stupid. I know Adrian Baird's on the committee, and Whit Goins is on the committee, and I don't know who else is on that mm -hmm. committee. I can't exactly what's going on. Adrian Baird is, co he is controlled in the, the whole one side of that thing, and he's taking care of this. He's going to try to nip it in the book. We all know that. That's exactly what's going on. Right. Well, see, he learned all that up there in Washington, you know, uh, on how to stall things off. And he hadn't, he hadn't met uh, Ronnie's rules of order yet, or Bob's <laughs> rules of order. See, we haven't sprung that on him yet, you know. So, uh, I think that you can go before the mayor, and uh, as a group, and uh, tell him that you want to be put on the judge of Information that you're getting, in all honesty to Scott, he's honest in what he's saying, but this is disinformation that Scott is putting out as a result of where he got his information. Well, we were there that night. We, uh, to give me the same information, we, we agree, what, what we, we, we heard when I was there. Do you not agree? agree with no, you. I don't. Okay, we, well, I think my law degree is just as good as your law degree. We, we, we agree with you that it was, Adrian Beard says, I recommend that it be turned over to the uh, animal Control Committee. Now that was nobody but Adrian Beard. That, that, that nobody no else. Well, you that. have you? Did you notice? Uh, everybody else didn't say anything about well, it. That's right. No yeah. vote. No did vote. Did you vote? I, I was a workshop. I couldn't vote. Okay. Now can you do that vote. in the workshop? We want to vote. We don't want. To. I recommend. Listen, sir. I, I recommend. Everybody, if you want to get this on the agenda, then I recommend you just coming down on Monday night and talk no, to the mayor, who you need to talk to, and then, then that's what yeah, you need to do. Yeah, I'm going to come too. Well, what you're saying, Scott, is that Adrian just recommended it, and it happened. So if that's... Well, that's
that, that's a gospel to some people when, they, when Adrian recommended it. I can't hardly hear you. Well, it was Adrian recommended it, and that happened. That comedian was fallen. So why couldn't you recommend that that thing be ascended and it just take place? No vote. They got a, their own committee, and that, that was just a workshop. Yeah. <laughs> the committee was not in meeting, was not in session. Adrian spoke out as his own mouthpiece, and all you had to do was say, look, I recommend it come before the whole board. That's all you had to do. Well, hey, I'm a rookie, and I'm still learning, sir, believe me. Well, you're learning from the wrong thing. No, you're, you're wrong there. I'm not le learning from nobody but what I think's right. I, I tell you, I think you've been spending too much time with Adrian, but that's my opinion. No, well, then you keep your opinion to yourself, because you're wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we heard the same thing that you did, Scott. We have interpreted it different. Wild well, Bob and Ronnie. Hey there, Wild well, Bob and Ronnie. Hey. Howdy. Uh, listen, now let me talk. Don't cut me off. I mm won't. -hmm. Now, Abram Beardstein lost about 40% of his pull. And this guy over here has lost about 35. Okay, thank and you for telling me. If he on there, he ain't going to be able to get elected as dog catcher. What they done was... I probably they, caught more dogs than, than you've... Uh, Caught in your lifetime since I've been elected because I've been the one that's been helping control these dogs. And they did not want, they did not want to do anything Monday night, so they created that. They created what he's talking about, and the reason they don't know who's on it is because they ain't elected nobody or put nobody in it. That's uh, what I call it disinformation. And he better start writing a little better because he's going to have to pick a lot of them to make a living because he ain't going to be down there picking none. We're going to get him out of there the next trip. Now, you've seen who I was on that caller ID there. It ain't right. It just ain't right, because people shouldn't do other people that way. How many dogs you got? I don't got but one. One? Well, it ain't right. It, just a, it was a and bad I ordinance. I don't know if Ronnie's ears were stopped up or your ears were stopped up down there. But evidently, you wasn't hearing the same thing. Now, we'll be down there Monday night. And there'll be enough people down there they won't be able to get in the courthouse. Call, call, call your friends out that don't have cable and tell them that we can't present our uh, our views, that we can go down there and watch the meeting. Yeah, we can go watch. And don't have to be just one time. Can we bring our dogs with us? I don't know about that. We want peaceable assembly. Don't right. get this wrong. We don't want nobody arrested. We don't want anybody doing anything wrong or unruly. But if you can come down there and peaceably assemble and bring all your relatives and let them bring all their neighbors, we'd just like to see you. Right. And we'll give you a hot dog you before you come down there. Yeah, we can get a hot dog down at my place before you go. But see, they're trying to, what I look at, they're no, trying to come up with some face-saving device like, we will cut it down to only one registration one time. Then we got you. $288 counting the fines every time we see your dog on the street. So we have taken your right away to own a pet, and you have to come ask us for permission. You ain't got to ask for one time, but you're going to have to ask us for permission well, what, what, to own an animal. What is the purpose of the dog registration? That goes to the building, and then uh, to keep up the building, and then the... Dog food, stuff like that. Well, why do dog owners have to bear the complete cost of maintaining the overly priced dog shelter anyway? Why does it not? Everybody benefits from it. Do you mm -hmm. not agree? I agree with if, you. If, if my neighbor's dogs are, are coming over and, and destroying my property, the dog catcher's supposed to come out and take them to jail. Even though you don't own Even though I don't own a dog. So why not? Why you got all the burden on the pet owners, the ones that, and you've not got it on the pet owners that are irresponsible. You've got it on the ones that try to do the right thing. And oh, by the way, don't you think you're going to steer them away from getting them vaccinated for rabies too? It's the wrong thing, Scott. Well, now, you know, now I think we need a committee, and I think we need a good strong committee. We do have all the best people living in Campbell County. We have to pay taxes to keep these schools going down here, and I don't have no children in school. And the people that's got children in school ought to pay the bills then, if that's the way they're going to be about the dogs. The ones that got the dogs ought to take and pay their bills. Well, that's, well, that's true. What's fair for one? The goose is fair for the gander. Everybody well, benefits from it. Everybody should have to contribute. He ain't got no children in school. And it, by the way, there's a lot cheaper way to run a dog shelter and go out there and spend a fortune building a mansion. You could have subcontracted the thing out and saved the cost of the building. Well, it's 
Scott wasn't there then. We can't believe he blamed on Scott at all and not blamed on Scott. But anybody that would let prisoners have to sleep in a cold jail, not have proper medical attention, and have heated floors in an animal shelter, uh, you they're know. Bad, bad, they're bad, 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 yeah, bad, bad. Yeah. I'd rather see the animals down there have a whole lot better place than them people in jail. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I would. Them bats ain't hurting nobody, they ain't stealing. Yeah, well, but the, they ain't the, the people. They ain't the people in jail. The people in jail. They're living here, they're arresting the innocent man. You know. But, uh, no, anybody needs to be awful careful because I'll tell you, Avery Beard will get you in serious trouble. He'll get you like he done the other guy before. He got him out of office before. He'll get you the same way. Well, I believe I made uh, a comment. I'm going to take another call, okay? About that. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Bob and Ronnie, Scott. Well, hello, Mr. Shaw. How are you doing? I don't know about this mister, but I'm Ronnie. <laughs> well, it's great to talk to all of you. Uh, my husband wanted me to call in, too, so on that committee. What, the dog? The dog. We committee. don't know. <laughs> Uh, so far, we've established that it's headed by Adrian Beard, who does all the voting, but we don't know who else is on it. Well, did Scott vote to put anybody on that committee? No, ma'am, I didn't. I, it's before I got elected. Did you vote to put us on before that committee? What, what do you mean? Monday night, did you vote to put us before no, that? That was the work, so we couldn't, we couldn't vote. Nobody voted. We couldn't <laughs> vote on anything that night, ma'am. But still, we got voted out. Uh, uh, I'm of the opinion that since you couldn't vote on anything, you didn't have the authority to put that before a committee, that it was already scheduled to be on the agenda. And I'm of the opinion it still is on the agenda, that you've been sent out by Adrian Baird as a front to stop people from coming down there. And all you succeeded in doing is making people mad and ask you're going to get more people than you would have. Yeah, I recommend everybody coming down because nobody sent me down here but myself. And I really didn't come down here to talk about that. Uh, this here, I, I actually was talking about the, the hiring and the firing of the well, people. Well, I, I got I got an opinion about the firings, too. Thank God Jerry Cross got into office and did the firings and got rid of some of these people who have been hiring their entire families and putting their entire families on the county payroll, running up and down the road in county vehicles, spending county gas, and not doing a job. And I am so glad to see it, and I'll just tell you, I ain't never voted for Drew Cross for anything, but if he keeps it up, I will vote for his re-election. That's my opinion of the fire. We're hoping Jerry will get us on the agenda for Monday night. That's what was that's his, my what, opinion. What his vote counts as much as Adrian's? No, he don't get to vote unless it's tied, does he? But I, but I did call on Jerry Cross to make sure that the dog petition gets on the agenda for Monday night. I believe he can do it. Well, we appreciate it. I'm going to take you. more calls. Thank you. Well, Bob, I'm going to take you to another phone call. Thank you. Well, good afternoon there, my fellow comrades on HBTV. Hey, hi. How you doing there, Mr. Scott Kitts? Hey, buddy. Uh, I was calling to see, uh, is, is what I'm hearing correct, that uh, the county commission would not recognize you all to uh, to come in and, and let us voice an opinion? Yeah, they, uh, Adrian Baird, that's the, when I say they, they don't like that word too well. Adrian Baird recommended it to be sent to the uh, Animal Control Committee. Well, Scott, let, let, let me ask you if I'm not right. Do we, and, and I actually signed a petition there, uh, the animal control petition, and I, and I agree with what they're wanting about having to register your animal one time. Uh, I don't agree with having to register it every year. Uh, but now, is, is it not true that if a commissioner recommends for that to be put on the agenda, that they are at least given 10 minutes? Oh, yeah, I agree with you, uh, Lonnie. Uh, yeah. Gary, yeah, yeah, Gary. Well, let me ask this, Scott. Would you step up and be the commissioner uh, to sponsor this? I mean, to actually just... Yes, we, we, we have one that's already had, uh, requested that it be... Oh, if we've got two, it'd be even better. Well, you've done got... Scott, too. But yeah. it's, but see, it's already before... It's My understanding is if there's an animal control committee... And since I'm not on that to, uh, board, then I have no well, say-so about it. Let's just suppose that we went down there and we said that uh, 
we have discovered that there's going to be a, a meteor hit Jacksboro, and we recommend that we evacuate the county, and you put that down there on the committee, and they said, well, we're going to have to turn this over to the committee on asteroids and, and uh, meteors, and, and you never would vote on it. But well, that's why they got the committees. So, yeah. so yeah. that they won't get nothing done. The committee, the committee was to come up with a workable animal control ordinance that would eliminate the dogs running loose in this county and uh, uh, being an unsightly situation, also being a dangerous situation, and that's why the animal, that's what the Animal Control Commission was charged with. Well, we, now, Bobby, uh, correct me if I'm not, if, if I'm wrong here, but we have over, two, over 2,000 signatures. Yes. Uh, and that's what we're trying to get the Animal Control Commission to sign off on that. Shuffle us off to the committee and forget about us. I'll, I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do what I can do. Uh, you know, I'm just one commissioner, and I'll do what I can do myself and see what I can get accomplished. That's, that's, that's all we ask, Scott. All right. Hey, fellas, I appreciate you taking up your time tonight. Keep Thank you. Thank you, Colin. You call back. Um, www.hillbilly.tv. We're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Most and, uh, of course, we got kicked off the county, county, uh, Campbell County Forum, didn't you? Wild Bob Ronnie. Yeah. No, that's an unsubstantiated rumor. Wild Bob Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. Hey. It's fine, Scott. Me and Lake. Yeah. Hey, Bobby, you remember that Bobby Ronnie story we had in the last time? Yeah, that was Bobby Ronnie. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That was one of your major supporters, I believe. Yeah, Scott. yeah I was. And had nothing prepared to start with. Uh, Adrian is in a face saving mode right now. That's that's the mode he's pushed, a face saving mode. He he'll, he'll grasp at any straw to save face. He's even come up with the idea of registering one time, you know. I say no, that you still ask him for permission to own an animal. And you should not be, back to the book of Genesis, people have been able to own animals without having to ask somebody for permission to own them. And when you have to apply for a registration, then you are asking for permission to own one. If you own one without the registration, you are guilty of violating the law. And uh, I, I told the story on here before, I'm going to tell them, I think Scott heard it, but it said uh, Samuel Adams wrote into. Uh, uh, a town up here in Culpeper, Virginia, in 1776. There was a man tied to the whipping post, and he had been beaten so badly that the, his ribs were showing through. And Samuel Adams says, What terrible crime has this man done to deserve such a whipping? They says, Well, he's a preacher, a minister, and he failed to take a license. He would fail to get a license to preach. So they had beat him so bad because he had taken a natural right to preach and they turned it into a privilege given to him by the government. Well, the Board of County Commissioners does not have any right to give us permission to own a pet, to own a dog or a cat. We have that right. That's the reason we're, we are doing this uh, 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 protest and uh, signing these petitions is they have usurped their authority, they have no authority to take the right away from people to own a pet. And that's what they've done. Because if you don't get a license, you can't own a pet. You're in violation of the law. You're subject to a $50 fine, which allows you to request a trial by jury <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a $288 fine. So if they think they're going to put money in the uh, animal shelter by arresting people for not registering their dogs, I got news for them. It's going to cost the county money because we're going to, we're going to uh, uh, set up a defense fund so people that are arrested for not registering their dogs uh, can request the jury trial. And I don't think they'll get 12 people in this county to convict anybody of not getting a license for the animal. What he said. You still there? Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us. Uh, I'll let it go with that. Got to stop by every night when you get out of there.
Thank you. I'll tell you who this is. I know who you are. Okay, bye bye when you get out of there. Okay. Well, Bob and Ronnie was Scott. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. As for the fine, I think it's about time some of them people goes over there. They've been a, they think they own this county. Well, we own them. And that's that petition. Adrian Barrett's trying to hide it because he knows he ain't got the votes now. Just him and Scott and David Young and maybe another, and that's it. <laughs> we'll have the votes. Well, they're they're gonna, pretty, pretty they, they probably were beside up at uh, Cliff's office one night what to do. He's afraid, afraid of what a people are voting now. we got some good people on there now, not that halfway Adrian Baird bunch. And he's scared to death and crying about it. Scott, you're right in there with him. You shouldn't be. No, but Adrian Baird's going to stab you right in the back before it's over. No, no I'm, I'm making my own decisions as far as... No, you're okay. fine, whatever Adrian said. Well, you've got a right to uh, feel and think what you think. I've not seen a vote on your own. It's always been with Adrian. No, I, I disagree with you. You need to go back and look at your, go down to the courthouse and ask for the minutes. I, I watch every meeting. And you ain't never voted by yourself. It's always with Adrian. You follow whatever he says. Yeah, I, I make my own decisions. I disagree with you. Uh, well, he does. Scott makes his decisions to happen. follow Adrian. <laughs> I'm not getting in this. <laughs> well, see, fellas. Oh, wait a minute. Let me say something. It takes a lot of guts for Scott yeah, to come on Wild Cop Ronnie Show. We, we, we need somebody team. with guts, I tell you. So he might be savable, yeah, you know. <laughs> we Thanks might have him a life jacket when the ship really gets us aching. Yeah, none of these gutless wonders will come up here and face these people. It was. It takes a lot of guts. I'll hand it, Scott. I'd love him to death. Well, Bob Ronnie. Really Scott, you know who this is. I know you do. But I'm telling you, I, I'm having to agree with the rest of them, and I like you real good, and you know what that, and you know who I am. And but I believe that you you really need to get away from Maker Beard because he's leading you in the wrong direction. Yeah, but I I, I ain't following Major Beard. I, I I'm trying to make the best decisions that I can on my own. I'm not following nobody. But you know, it appears that way. To the, to I know it appears that way, but I'm still thinking the way I'm voting is. I feel like it's the right decision. Well, you ought to say right there on TV then that, that you think it's wrong. Because you know it's wrong for people have to uh, be put in jail if they don't register their dog. No, I don't I don't think it's right for... Absolutely. I don't think it's right for somebody to go to jail over a, 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 over their animal. No, that's not right enough. No, I, 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 I agree with you there. I think and, it's a simple thing. It's, and it's a shame that, that uh, Ager Beard wife He'll never get voted in that election again. But I'm a, you know who I am, don't you? Yes, I do, ma'am. And, and, you know, I talk all of you, but I'm telling you, you stand up for that dog registration. I don't even have a dog, but I think it's awful that Adrian Baird is, is doing what he's doing about this dog uh, registration. Well, I really think Adrian does. Uh did it in the best have, interest. They run know. out of the but camp. But it's his, always his opinion what's best for right, We yeah. don't get to have what's best for Now, Adrian, now look, he's a good guy, but, but and uh, people was all behind you to put you in there, but you better, you better get away from that Adrian Beard, I'm telling you. Well, Adrian uh, learned most of his There's politics. a lot of things that's coming up that I disagree with uh, Mr. Baird on. A lot well, of things. I'm Yeah, I, I thank the world of you and your family. Yeah, but I'm telling you, Adrian Beard is on the wrong track, and you don't want to fall in behind him. Well, there's a lot of track that's trying to be torn up from behind him, and he's got himself in a position where he can't tear that track up behind him. Because Scott's uh, always, and I've known him a long time, and he's always spoke his own, his own thinking. And we just want to keep it that way. Well, I re that means a lot to me. Very humbly, man. Thank, right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bob and Scott. Hey. Yeah, I have a question. And uh, I think that you're going at it from the wrong uh, perspective. Doesn't this state have a, uh, a referendum statute and a recall statute? I think it's probably, if you went after the after recall elections, and put it on the ballot with a recall or with a referendum, mm -hmm. you probably would get a little bit more action than you will just making idle, showing up, making idle threats at them. Well, I think you're
probably right. But you know, you've got to you've got to put forward a good faith effort to do it without uh, threats or uh, uh, anything um, heavy handed. You you go ask to present. All we ask is to go down there and present our petition and have it considered. We don't ask them to vote on it. We say, here, will you look this over and, and go home and think about it? And you might want to sponsor some some legislation to correct what we perceive to be uh, an injustice. And and so far, we, 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 we're we getting a blind eye. We, they won't hear us. Our, our, our ears are, are clogged up, and, and, and they don't, they don't, we can't understand how to do that. We're too thick-headed. Well, that's, uh, I want to ask, uh, when is the law library here? Like I said, I'm not real familiar with uh, Tennessee law. I, I'm out of uh, a different state where I study law, man. But from what I understand from reading the statutes, uh, the referendum can be brought in almost any time if you come up with, I forget what the percentage of the electorate is. You can put anything on the ballot, or you can make them take any law off the books. And it appears that you've got plenty of support for uh, uh, the petition, which would give you probably enough signatures, or you can get the signatures fairly easy to get it uh, to get it put on the ballot. If they don't want to do it, then take it out of their hands. Maybe we will have to do that if yeah. we can't... Uh if we can't get some satisfaction going at it in a little less uh, expensive uh, procedure, uh, that's definitely a consideration. I'd well, like to uh, talk think, with you more about it if this thing, we'll see what goes with it from here. I think if the time we started talking about this, when we could not go down there, that it's impossible for us to go down there and impossible for us to put it on the agenda or have anything to say, it's, it's gone completely the other way now that I think we do have the, the right to do that and that this other is disinformation and you need to look that up and see what disinformation is where you, you are apprised of information and stuff that is not correct and you believe it's correct and you go disseminate it to the population but still not, that still won't make it right even though it's said. Because somebody said it, don't make it right. propaganda. No, yeah, right. it's propaganda, yeah. And it's a face-saving type propaganda. Well, you've got the facilities there to uh, to bring it forward because now with the new federal regulations about the legal signatures by, via the Internet or whatever, mm -hmm. you don't have to go out and beat the bushes for people to sign your petition. There's, what, two or three websites here for lobotomy. You can actually put the referendum petition or a recall petition uh, on it. It doesn't require enough uh, signatures on a recall petition to actually get a recall to get a politician's attention. All it takes is a, enough people to show that they are prepared, you know, to uh, kick their butt out of office. Then it'll, uh, it'll get their attention. Well, we might just go at it that way. We'll see what happens Monday night, and if I just uh, oh. if, 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 oh. if it's, Go ahead. I'll be there on Monday night, but like I said, like with Scott, I think he said here at one of the meetings here a while back, here we got 680 votes. I mean, so the, the voting majority to get people elected isn't a whole lot in this county. You know, I mean, you figure any time you can get let, uh, someone elected with less than 1,000 votes, I was a supporter of Scott. But, you know, I agree with most everybody else who would call again. He's become a flunk. Uh, and actually, I'll spend money to get him out of office, just like I did the uh, uh, Mike that runs like new. I mean, it's no big deal. But the thing is, I think that people think they can get kicked out of those jobs. No, I honestly think. I, I, I honestly think that the, the major mistake. Uh, Mr. Freeman made was when he shut out the people when they come down there to speak and, and he uh, threatened to have the courthouse cleared. I think that uh, had, um, just refusing to let us speak uh, could be a, a misstep that you can't recover from, in my opinion, but we'll just have to wait and see. I do appreciate you coming down, Monday. I think, yeah, oh, come I'll on down, Monday. If I get anybody else, I would, now my dog is registered. I register for a different purpose altogether. Mm -hmm. I registered in case she gets lost yeah. so that she will, uh, I can get her back. But it has nothing to do with the cause they, uh, uh, they require it. They can kiss, well, mm -hmm. I they can kiss. But the, uh, the thing about it is, and you're right, if they were to find me over it, you're, you're talking about one good fight. Like I said, I probably fought cases and everything, state supreme courts and federal courts. So it's not a big major deal to fight this stuff. It's not really expensive. And it could sure cost the county a whole lot of money because I had to get through with the field.
it's a whole lot of fun, too. Oh, yes, it definitely is. <laughs> I worked in the civil rights section of a, of a state government fighting case, so you bet you it's a whole lot of fun. Well, we might have like to, this is discrimination. Yeah, this is this is uh, usurping of hillbilly rights. We right. might have to look at it in that direction right. sooner or later. Yes, but uh, like I said, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't like to sit because you said a little time. You can go online to uh, half a dozen law libraries to look mm -hmm. up questions for nothing. But I'm quite sure that if you if you just have to change your attack to going after recalls or referendums, mm -hmm. then I'm sure that you'll get the attention. Really don't like the idea of having the people who voted for them to try to throw them out of office, knowing they're not going to get their votes and get a post when they come back to the election. That's a good point. Right. It's good to have a good to have a, a cool head uh, offering opinion, Bob. <laughs> Thank occasion. you very much. <laughs> Call back you again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we need that's a smart man. That's, that we used to be the idiots and uh, you know who that was? That was they. That was Dave. Why, why, why was Dave? Hi, Ronnie. I had a little bit of information I wanted to get an opinion on. Okay. Um, Adrian Baird, not only does he care nothing about the people in this community and show a compassion for anything but the animals in this community, which is really his tax dollars. Um, several years ago, there was a community center at Davis Chapel. It was brought up to Adrian to open this up to these children because the community center, there was nothing going on in it. Adrian had no interest in this because it didn't bring any revenue into Adrian's pocket. So not only did he say that it could not be done let's not, due to insurance hey, hey, hey. Let's not let's don't go that far. I don't want you to because he can't defend himself and you don't know who you are. Let's, if you want to say that that he didn't bring any revenue, okay, but let's stop there, okay, on okay. that part. I'm sorry, but be fair. Okay. So anyway, he said due to insurance purposes, this could not be done. Well, they carry insurance on the building. Mm -hmm. And that's what to it as well, showing that that's I think oh, maybe a million dollars. So why couldn't it be opened up to the children? Why not show a compassion there? A dog the is important. Euthanize them. I don't know anything about that situation, and I'm, I'm glad you present it. And if somebody wants to offer an opinion on it, I'd be glad to listen to it. I'm not going to voice an opinion on that because I don't know anything about it. There might have been good reasons. I, I know what you mean now. Uh, I've... I've, I've I think we ought to be a little more concerned about the young people, and I don't mean everything's for the children. No, I mean but, it could have been open to the seniors. We really do need some facilities for at least as good as we've got for our animals. For right, our exactly. Right. I don't see anybody proposing a five hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar facility for the children in this county. No, and I don't see them saying that you got to register you young and you. Yeah. <laughs> If it's beneficial for the dogs to raise them, it ought to be beneficial to the yeah, children. Yeah, you lose your kid and you ain't got a tag on, you don't know where you're going back. get it back if you lose it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I wanted, you know, the people maybe to try to find out what happened there. Well, thank you for calling. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <clears throat> Ten more minutes of this, Bob. I don't know. Bob, Bob, and Ronnie. Scott's going out first. Yes. I'm calling uh, concerning the... Uh, the dog licensing. Yes. And uh, I have uh, five dogs. Mm -hmm. And I have three of agree. those because somebody did not have their animal spayed in or neutered like I do mine. Yes. So I do not resent paying my fees in order to see that uh, the animals that are not brought into this world by nothing they had reason to do because of people's neglect of their own animals, I have now five animals to take care of. Mm -hmm. So I have been out to the animal shelter because one of my dogs got lost, so they found him, and I got him back, mm -hmm. thank God, and before he was put down. You can go out there and look, and you need to go do this, and look at these animals that are in there. There are some gorgeous animals that are going to be euthanized because we are not a responsible community that sees that our animals are either spayed or neutered, and if the license is held, to get them spayed or neutered or those four animals taken care of, what did they charge you? What did they charge you to give your dog back to you? They didn't charge me anything. 
He must know somebody. Then. I did not. I called out there because my animal was lost. I was upset. He had gotten out, and I was. Has that had been recently? Like, Pardon? Has that been recently? Like, yes. And they treated you very fairly, too, didn't they? Right. They treated me very fairly, they treated me very kindly, and they, uh, he has, uh, I've even called up there a couple of times, and he's gotten lost again. That's, well, that's bad. Out. That's the way it should be bad. They, they, did they, they not know. have a sign there that they're giving you the fees to retrieve your animal? They certainly did, but it didn't say $280. It said $107. Uh, we did you pay $188. I paid $107 well, for $207. with you, ma'am, if they had them spayed or neutered, with this, we wouldn't have these problems yeah, today. In, in and, world, and I agree with you 110%. Go out there and look. Just go out there and look at the gorgeous pups that are in there. Yes, ma'am. Because somebody won't have their animals. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, they can get them. Uh, let me mention something to you, hon. I'm, I'm not a hun to anybody. Okay. Ma'am. Okay. Yes. Let, let me mention something to you. It's, it's called responsibility, uh, right, ma'am? It is definitely yeah. called that's exactly right. Let me mention something, Scott. You should be responsible enough to take care of them. Okay, now, Scott, you've called me down from talking on my own show two or three times, so you just let me say what I want to say. I agree with you on the spade and the neutering. Uh, the problem we find is that those that are out there, those beautiful puppies, nobody takes responsibility for owning those dogs, and therefore the responsibility for paying for that is going to fall back on those people who are responsible pet owners, not on the ones that let them, they're going to continue just as many of them to run loose unless they catch them and put them up because nobody's going to take responsibility for those dogs. You've got to sponsor spay and neutering clinics where people can afford to have their animals. Well, that's fine, but, but you know, none of your, none of your uh, dog licensing fee is going towards sponsoring spay and neutering so, clinics. Well, let, let me ask you something. Who in the world is going to take and pick those dogs up and have them spayed and neutering that are running all, all over the county if the county won't pick them up? I don't understand what your question is because I, I see that my animal got picked up. Well, so you grab. Mine, too. Mine, too. Mine, too. Mine, too. Mine, too. We have no problem with that. They were, yours are that way regardless of the animal ordinance of 2005. Yours are that way in here. What we're saying is the animal ordinance of 2005. Uh oh, oh, oh. Still right? Don't hang up on me out there now. I'm pushing this button. Well, well, we won't do it on purpose. Uh, You're still the, here. The animal ordinance of 2005 does nothing for the pet. People are not going to take responsibility for these dogs that are running loose because of the fear of being fined $50 and a court cost making the total cost $288. Uh, if they admit that, they're, they're, that they are their dog, then they have not had them registered. So, uh, you know, well, I, still, spay and I still have a question. You said that it was supposed to cost a hundred and seven dollars. Is that what the sign? I, I think that's what the sign said. Why, 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 something like that. why did they not charge you? Why did they not charge me? Because I had adopted this animal before, uh, and I had gone out, I had t left somebody dumped him on me. So I had adopted him. And uh, I had taken care of him, and he had gotten away from me. Well, and we understand so I that. But that, but that, that he wasn't adopted animal. He was not used to me yet. That was your dog, right? That was my dog. Okay. But I, somebody dropped. It's a beautiful black dog. You got to get him somewhere. But he came from somewhere. Yeah, he came with a collar on, but nobody ever came yeah. naughty. We understand that. But somebody dropped him off. Well, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to get him somewhere. Well, that's what you got to do. If you hadn't taken it, taken him up, he would run loose in the county, and they would not have picked him up. Well, they picked him up. I really admire you for your responsibility of taking a, strength, a dog that came to your house and, 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 and taking that dog in. And, and that dog would have been took to the dog pound and been put to sleep. Ma'am, and, and, ma ma and, I, and I, I commend you for that. Well, I found one in the garbage dump in a pillowcase, a pure red bone hound. Now, that's inhumane. Well, I have three that three that uh, came to my house that I looked after that, that that are vaccinated that are well cared for. 
So uh, you don't feel like the Lone Ranger uh, uh, on that situation. I have hey, three of them that way. I have three of them that way. Yes, they yes, are spayed and neutered. But let me ask them, how are you going to check these dogs running loose see if they're spayed and neutered? If you have, because you don't have animals spayed and neutered, you won't have them running loose. Well, what about animals? these they're that are running loose? loose. They're all running loose right they, now. They say, they're they're nine, looking wrong way. they say there are 900 dogs running loose in this county. You've got to look wrong way. Those 900 dogs running loose. County, and someone doesn't take responsibility for them because they're not picked up. Well, nobody's going to take no. responsibility for them. First of all, they're going to have to register them if they take responsibility for them. Second, if they get loose with a tag on them and they don't have a po political affinity like you do to those that are I running the ship. Well, yeah, they, had, they, were, they were tickled to death to hear your opinion, and so they didn't charge you anything. And that's the reason that law will be applied uh, not in an unfair way. Now my dog, my dog got loose. You know, if more people were more responsible like you, then we wouldn't have this problem today. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I can tell you, my dog got loose. I'm going to keep doing what I think's right, and the people need to take more responsibility of their animals. Very true. Yeah, that's my point here. Is Adrian Baird in the room? Well, Is Adrian Baird in the room? Oh, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, you wouldn't have all these promiscuous dogs out there anyway. But we don't live in a perfect world, Scott. Scott Kitts is in here, Ronnie Bob, and I said that. People need to take responsibility. Well, 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 that's good campaign slogan. Yes, hey, what do you say? Rusty Orton. Hey, Rusty. You're on the hot seat tonight, ain't you, buddy? Yeah, I am, Rusty. I believe you messed up, buddy. You, you, think, we, you think we can get you on the agenda? Wait up, Bob. I can't hardly hear. <laughs> what are you saying, Ronnie? You think we can get on the agenda? I would say there'd be no problem you getting on the agenda. I know agenda you tonight. won't vote, but we just wanted to present our petition Monday night. I would say that if you contact the mayor's office tomorrow morning, I'd say you put you back on the agenda. Well, that'd be nice. We'd what do you think, that. Scott? Do you think you put them back on the agenda? Well, if you, I'd say if you've got anything to do, I don't, I don't think it'd be a problem at all, Rusty. Well, this little plan you had tonight backfired on you, big boy. Good, good. You're part of the opposition, you Rusty. Down there. You're part of the opposition. <laughs> I've heard you for the last six months stand up for the people, but you ain't done it yet. Well, you consider yourself a Christian. You need to go back and repent. Now, hold on, big boy. Hold on. Don't throw that part out there. Well, you, you're, you're bashing me, so I'm taking up hey, for myself. Uh, I'm can we buy another five minutes? And it's about got too old with me. Every time you sit down there, you're throwing off on the Scotty. And it's come to a stop. Well, you know, I'm not going to I guess you probably need to do more praying, I guess, I'd say. I've been praying. I'm going to put some footwork.